think in your view, Mr. Watara needs to do, for example, in order to give a serious signal that he is ready and prepared to move the country forward in new territory? Thank you, Shaka, to give me this opportunity. May I first um, take the opportunity to, um, to, uh, to say that I'm deeply, deeply, deeply hurt by what has happened in my country. I would also like to, uh, to say my condolences to uh, everyone in the Ivory Coast. We have all suffered. Let's move on and don't let's uh, you know, forget uh, the immediate past. This will be uh, dealt with uh, in the next future. What President Watra needs to do is to tackle the immediate needs of the people. In Abidjan, for example, electricity, running water, and the spectacle of uh, body lying on the street are really hazard to everybody. He needs to tackle the problem within the army. Those young men from each side do not know, they're not prof most of them are not professionals. And there is also the education system that has collapsed completely. The economy really needs to be, uh, to be redressed, to be, to be, to be really, really uh, taken care of in such a way that the Ivory Coast can recover its uh, former glory in a very, very, very short time. It's a challenge, but it's not impossible. Uh, as far as uh, human rights violations are concerned, people are dwelling on that issue, but there are more, there are immediate issues, food for people. Ngokwe was saying earlier that there are 800,000 IDPs and there are another 1,000 who are refugees. These people need to know that there is a new regime. These people need to know that their country will look after them. These people need to come back to where they were before. These are the issues we will have to look into closely and tackle them very, very, very immediately indeed. What about the issue of uh, uh, security? Because uh, there are some uh, supporters of uh, uh, former President uh, Rora Babo who are already complaining, especially in Abidjan, uh, in some areas of Abidjan, that uh, there are some uniformed people who are moving from house to house, uh, asking them who are they, where do they come from, and uh, taking uh, some unpleasant actions. What does Mr. Watara need to do in order to make sure that uh, reprisals really are prevented against supporters of Mr. Babu? Okay. I have no reason to doubt his sincerity, but he's already said that he doesn't want any reprisal. He doesn't want any revenge. What is the president? Those signals need to be taken into account by the uh, chief of the army, the police officers in the street. But I don't think that it will be done overnight. What we, has, we have witnessed over the four months is really, really disturbing. There are relics of, of the army from uh, 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 former president who might be around, armed, and ready to use them. So it's, it will be very difficult. Abidjan is not a, a small city. Even outside Abidjan, the problems still you know, arise in some pockets like uh, the west where I am from. It's, it's a very, very tricky situation. But it, as I said, it won't be resolved overnight. This is, we are in for a long haul. I read today that uh, he get, you know, President Watara said that he gives himself about uh, two to three months to solve uh, the security problems. Uh, it's very difficult. I have no reasons to doubt his sincerity. I'm sure he will deal with the situation uh, you know, in an uh, exemplary manner, and uh, I'm sure the uh, new army will take care of the situation in such a way that uh, we're all satisfied with their work.